give their children roots and wings. Roots to know where home is, and wings to fly off and practice what you've taught them. Carolyn McDade is the woman who wrote one of our most popular hymns, Spirit of Life, and she extended the lesson to all of us. <coughs> Do you know the line I'm talking about? Walls and truly venture forth, 
If we are to join heart and soul fully in the kind of ministry that calls us, we will have to allow ourselves to be changed by it. We cannot transform our community without being transformed ourselves. As our little butterfly learned, transformation involves letting go of some of the things that make us who we are in order to become who we can be. It involves the fear of the unknown. It involves trust in one another and in the spirit of love that holds us aloft on currents of grace. In a transformative community of faith, we are changed by what Minister William Sloan Coffin calls the recklessness of faith. First you weep, he says, and then you grow wings. And I think of our little butterfly so hungry and so scared to take that leap. And I say, let us be reckless in faith. I look inside my heart and around me as well, and I see all of us hungry to make change, but wary of being changed. Let us leap and then grow wings. Here we have this banquet before us, a million places that are calling for our message, our message of human dignity and beloved community. We are called by that message to be reckless in our faithfulness to that radical and demanding love. But how often do each of us refuse to eat at the table? We see the perfect chance to live our values, and sometimes we just keep walking. Maybe it's a bully we could have stood up to, a person we could have helped with a gesture, an injustice we could have righted with strength and commitment and perseverance, but often we don't because we're scared, because it would call forth something different in us, because then we have to start being good all the time, and we have to let go of some of the bad habits that we love, and it just sounds exhausting and hits the life hard enough. <laughs> so I sound like a worried little caterpillar, or like some of our voices inside our heads. And even in the hard times of life, aren't we hungry for something more? Becoming known in Colombia as a force for good requires us collectively to reach out beyond our walls and beyond our circle of comfort. It requires each of us to show up for each other and for our collective values again and again and again and again. It requires culture change because friendliness is not enough. Only fierce love will do. Because roots of safety are not enough. Only the challenge of our values in every nook and cranny of our lives will do. Only the reckless leap will find us flying at last. It requires nothing less than our collective transformation. Emerging from our cocoon in the woods, unfolding our wings, dedicating our lives to what we love rather than what we fear. And so this morning, let us rededicate ourselves to the glowing core of our message, what is vital and true and lived among us, what is ready to be carried with us outside our walls and into the world, the promise that all are worthy all beloved, no exceptions, and the reminder that every one of us is the hands and feet and body of that love in the world, ready to serve each other and our vision of justice. Today, I want to tell you that though metamorphosis is a big deal, its discomfort pales next to the beauty of the vision that you are creating for yourself. We are ready to emerge 
and I promise you our wings will be worth the growing pains. I want to show you those wings now so you can see what we have to stretch for, the vision that will transform us if we will let it and if we will live it. And so in that spirit, I now invite you into a time of reflection. I ask you to consider, why is this place important to you? And what does it have to share? What must we take outside these walls? As you reflect, Pack and Alan will give us some thoughtful music. And then, as you feel moved, I, come, I invite you to come forward to encounter our wings <laughs> and to write a word or two or draw a quick doodle that captures the core message and value of this church, the vision we need to carry with us out into the world. Thank mm-hmm. you.